guys, I'm Ithiya for Advices Media and in this video I'm going to show you how you could root the Google Nexus 4 device. In order to get started, you need to download the Nexus 4 toolkit which you can find the link from the description below. Following that, you need to first install the drivers for the Nexus 4 device onto your PC for which once you install and run the application, you would get the following screen with all the options mentioned here. Press 1 and enter following which the drivers would be installed onto your system. Here it will ask for selecting the version of your windows. Depending on the version select the option. Select 1 to install the drivers. If you keep getting these errors, always select the right drivers. In this case, it is the Samsung Android phone drivers. Third option wherein it would boot the CWM recovery, install the boot. Next year select the second option. We have already selected the debugging mode. Let us just confirm the same from settings. And as you can see, it says that the USB debugging is enabled here. Once the driver is installed, the file would be pushed to the internal storage and the device would be rebooted in force boot mode following which it would be taken you to the CWM touch recovery. Click on the option of install zip from SD card. As you can see here, you get a list of different options. Use the volume recovery to select these options and then select the option install zip from SD card following which you would be asked to select another option here scroll down to super su-0.98-recovery.zip hyphen hyphen if you don't find it you can you need to first select the option choose zip from SD card here if you don't find the file here go to the folder 0 slash and then here you will find that the file will be listed at the end. Move down. Once you are to the right placement, select the file and then select yes, install super recovery.zip And then as you can see, the upgrade log will be shown to you. And it says install from SD card complete. Once you are done with that, click on Select the option go back and then reboot system. Go back 
and the device would be rebooted and this would end up the routing of the LG Nexus 4 device so this is how you can complete this process and this was a quick demo for the same stay tuned for more videos on advices media and we'll keep you updated thank you